Good afternoon and welcome to Lake Bumbunga, I think it's called. And this is, uh, well, I forget where it is. Lock Hill. Lock Hill. And uh, yeah, there's a lake here. So we're going to go and have a look. And it looks really it rains, cool. The algae goes pink. And um, that lady in that BMW almost just reversed over us. There's like heaps of international tourists around. It's the busiest place we've seen like for tourists for ages. So yeah, let's uh, I'm gonna have a look at this garage sale behind us first. Because they have garage sales in South Australia still, eh? How mad's that? And then uh, yeah, then we'll go look at the lake. Oh check it out, that's the building we're in when they were building it, eh? And then over here on the wall is the plans from the same building before it was built. Look. The plan of the proposed public district hall of Lockheel. Pretty cool though. And uh, the date on that one says uh, 10. So I'm guessing that's 1910. Yeah, mad, eh? Ah, so nothing we needed in there. But yeah, look, see? It's the same building that was in them photos. And uh, now we're going to go across the road, across the highway it is, and uh, see the lake. Check it out. Whoa, it's a big lake. When it's got water in it, it's all pink, but it, it's still, you can kind of see it's pink from here even though. And uh, what I can tell looking at the old photos, they used to like mine salt in here. So I'm guessing it's all like pink salt, but I don't know yet. Let's go and taste it and find out. There you go, that's how you say it. La 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 <laughs> Oh man, there's so many tourists around here, right? Like this whole car park is packed and um, most of it seems to be like Japanese looking people and uh, as we learn at the Blue Mountains they're usually the rudest as well. <laughs> so there you go. And that, uh, the uh, town's not spelt Lock Eel but it's called Lock Eel the, the dam I guess or the lake. Um, and then it says at the bottom here it said that the Lock Eel lives beneath the surface of this bog but has not been seen since the Lock Eel Hotel closed in 2004. 14. So, uh, so you need booze to see it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's kind of like the Yowie and things. You've, you've got to have like something going on or like, you know, it, 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 it's not real. They just pretend it is. My grandma once saw a Yowie. It jumped out in front of her while she was riding a tractor to school. And so my grandma never lies. So that's 100% proof the Yowie's real. <laughs> Anyway, so this one says that it's famous for being used in, like, photography for ads and things. Time Magazine, and it says uh, Mimco, RM Williams, uh, Qantas used it, and uh, yeah, heaps of mobs, eh? There's some movie as well with Tim Minchin, Upright, or TV series. Showcase the region with a major scene filmed right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. It's a pretty cool spot. Oh, yeah. Let's go and uh, have a better look then. I thought I was overdressed. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, it's uh it's pretty cool. It's definitely pink, hey. I'm oh, yeah. I'm keen to get down and taste it and see if it's salt. Oh, wow, there's even free Wi Fi. I wonder if there was free Wi Fi back in the day as well, like the lake just sort of like somehow produces Wi Fi. <laughs> it's mad. Oh man, there's so many flies here too, eh? Where even though like the weather's been cooling down. The last week or so, man, there's been so many flies everywhere we go. And, uh, yeah, it's driving me nuts. I forgot to spray fly spray in the van before we left even, eh? Oh. So, oh, man, they're everywhere. All right, so here we are. We made it to the pink crust. And, uh, oh, wow, it's oh, hard, wow. eh? It's really hard. Oh, yeah, you could drive out on this. It definitely looks like salt. It kind of looks like Himalayan salt. It does, it does. Oh, wow, it's really hard, eh? You can't even, like, get a bit up. Oh, there's some. Let's um, see how it tastes. Oh, yeah, it's salt. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah. I'd be oh, careful. Yeah. There's all the tourists walk on this bit. <laughs> Might go out in the middle and get some good salt. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, it's, uh, it's a really cool landscape being out on this. I don't know. I haven't seen any signs that talk about why the salt's pink. If it's naturally pink... We were reading about it um, the other day. Oh, the microorganisms. It was, yeah, it, apparently the, the pinkness um, really comes out after the rain because it's something to do with the algae. Ah. But then I don't get it because it's like pink salt, so. Yeah, like is there any algae in that? Does the algae live in pink salt? 
I don't know. Do you need... And, uh, yeah, what does algae have to do with salt formation? I don't yeah, know. I'm not sure. But I... Yeah, so I don't know for sure. But uh, we'll try and find out. I reckon, like, the flamingos and stuff, they're, they're normally white, except they, li they live in pink lakes like this in Africa. And I reckon that's why flamingos are pink, eh? So I wonder if, like, the kookaburras are, like, black and pink or whatever, and or the magpies, not the kookaburras. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird, eh? It's almost... It looks like ice or something, eh? But it's, like, all icy... Not icy. Salty and scratchy instead of being just all smooth like ice. But, um, yeah, wonder if it gets, like, cold enough for, like, when the water's in here for it to turn to ice and you could ice skate out here. <laughs> That'd be mad. Oh, no way. It's the lock eel. He's just sprung up in front of us here. He does live under there. <laughs> we didn't even go to the pub. <laughs> no. No, I haven't had a drink at all today. Oh, look at this little pool here. Oh, wow, look how pink that is. Wow. Someone's dug a hole in there. Go on, tell them, Dale. <laughs> Dale dug a hole. Yeah, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's mad. It's nice as. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. It feels really cool, eh? Yeah. It's, um... Yeah, it's mad spot. Yeah. This would be awesome for dirt biking on. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? That eel thing is real. And uh, he's made of fiberglass. But, yeah, it's, uh... It's pretty cool. They should put some more sculptures out here or just other random things would be mad to see too. Oh man, this guy up behind us, he sounds like the guy who sings La Bumba even, eh? I don't know what he's speaking, but wow. Ah, so these nice Indian people like offered to take our photo. So I'll put that in here and then uh, we took their photo for them as well. So I hope they're happy with my photography. It's uh, probably better than their photography, but uh, yeah. Oh, so now we're going to go out and see if we can find the water. There's water out there somewhere. I don't know if there's water just there or what. It's weird looking, eh? Um, I know there's yeah, I know there's water way, way up there, but that's like a massive hike. And uh, oh, you get a mad view of the like hills from here too, eh? And there's all like the the wind towers all the way along there, eh? It's mad. Ah, oh, so I did some googling, and yeah. It's algae that loves the salt that turns it pink, and that's why it's all pink. And uh, it's all like glistening here too. It's really cool, eh? Because it's it's like got a bit more water in it or something. And uh, oh, there's some bits that are pinker than other pink bits, and purpley bits. And oh yeah, wow, this water bits looking oh, really you can take cool. Some crusty bits and have a little like tumbleweed stuff on them. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> What's going on there? The tumbleweeds get stuck in it, or is he growing in it? I don't even know. You were stuck in it though. Weird, eh? And then uh, over here we're getting to the water. You can see oh, some yeah. reflection now. Yeah. Oh man, that's oh, really, yeah. really cool looking, eh? Yeah. You can see like the reflection of the hills in the background on it. So perfect from here. That's weird as. Oh man, so we're pretty close to it now and we still can't tell what's going on. Like, is it water or not? There's people walking on it, and it doesn't look like water when they walk on it. So yeah, have a look from here. Water? Like, see that? Like, what's going on? And then see, like, they're just walking on it. Is it just like this finest layer of water? Oh, there is water there. Oh yeah, wow. wow. Oh it's God. just like, only like a couple of mils deep. Huh? What is this and, so oh man, yeah, ah. yeah, how weird is it? Oh, look. I'm Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, wow. And the reflection off it as well. Like, the reflection of the hills out there is, like, so perfect on it. It's just all these little, like, ice islands. <laughs> oh, they're salt islands, aren't they? Yeah. And they've all got little bits of grass sticking out of them, eh? Like, like even that one does. That one there does. <laughs> like, they all do. It's weird as. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how well it'll turn out, but you can see all the reflections of the clouds and like everything in this. It's so cool. It's like, it's I, like I was expecting like actual water, but it's just like flat as. I guess like, I guess salt flats are typically flat. That's why they do like land speed records across them and that. But uh, you wouldn't want to hit these speed bumps, so <laughs> not doing too fast anyway. Oh man, we should go get the sand crab. <laughs> Come down. Oh yeah, skidding around on all this water would be mad fun. 
mad spot. Oh man, this has been one of the coolest places we've been in South Australia. Um, like we've seen a lot, a lot of like sheep and <laughs> grass and like it's an arid countryside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not much, not much water, especially. And uh, yeah, this is like this is, so cool. this is like really, really cool. Yeah. yeah, if you come down here, the highway goes straight past it. This is on the Augusta Highway. So if you ever come South Australia. Like, you'll probably end up driving past here anyway. So, yeah, yeah, stop and have a look. It's mad spot. I don't know what we're doing now, but uh, then we'll go back and find the car and then uh, see what happens. Look at all those Jesuses walking water. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus was an Indian. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Ah, uh, Spewing, so we come up behind all them wind turbines because Google said that you can get up here. Oh, he got up there actually. Look, look, there's a car up there. But uh, you need a you need a lock for this gate, and there's there's like 50 gates on uh, 50 locks on there, but like none of my keys fit. And old mate up there probably wouldn't have been happy if we got up there anyway. So yeah, I guess we're not going to get to see the lake from up on the hill there. So uh, we'll keep cruising down this dirt road. It's called Landslide Road. It's been a mad drive too. So, uh, and see where we end up. So check it out. I found a gate that wasn't locked and behind us is that pink lake and uh, we're right up here with all these things now it's mad check this out oh look it's right there you can hear oh. it like going too. yeah you can hear it kind of like it's not whooshing but you can hear like the electronic bit of it going Doing it's turbine -y yeah oh man there's heaps of them over on that hill there <laughs> and then uh we just drove up past that one there and the shadow was going like over a sea. I like the shadows on the ground over here from this one. <laughs> Mad, eh? Oh yeah, what a spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then the pink lake down the bottom there. It's mad. We were like right down over in this bottom corner over there somewhere. It's mad. What a view too, eh? Like it's... It's crazy from here. You can see so, so far. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> wow, and you can see right out to the Gulf. And then you can see Air Peninsula on the other side. And we're still on York Peninsula here, remember? That's Air Peninsula on the other side of Spencer Gulf. But, uh, yeah. Wow. And then Clare Valley, it's over in there, on the other side of that hill there. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the lake we were just at. Lake Bumbunga. Lake Bumbunga <laughs> at Lockie. Mad spot, eh? Yeah. Oh, and the drive up here was mad too. It's just like this really steep dirt road and through some of the, what do they call it? These, these grass fields. <laughs> I forget what they call it now. What do you mean? Though? What do they call the grass they grow? Hay? Not hay. Nah. Bales of... Bales of hay? Yeah. Hay? Yeah. Yeah. Hales of bay, bales of hay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hales of bay. Yeah. So yeah, that's mad hay. Now uh, we'll drive back down and then see where we go next. Alright, so we come back down the hill a bit. And uh, oh, there's some sheep over here, eh? Check it out. We're in the sheep paddock. And uh, I don't know if you can hear this, but listen. <laughs> it's mad, eh? Whoa, man, it's really trippy to look at, eh? Yeah, mad spot, eh? Oh, yeah. How sick is this? Oh, and this is the mad rally road we drove up, eh? Wow, it's really trippy if you're looking up from directly under, hey? Yeah, yeah, if you stand here and just look straight at you it. You feel like you're about to be sliced. 
Oh, the, the noise it makes just changed. Something's going on in there. But yeah, oh man, how mad is that? Whoosh, whoosh. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, man. It's been a mad drive to get up here. And uh, oh, that sheep are doing a runner on us. Well, well, maybe it's time to go before They're the off. farmer comes or the wind company or whoever runs all this stuff. Oh, they, there's but, other uh, ones running down the hill too. Oh yeah, they're all flocking up over there. Sheep, banshee. They're like, a river dirty. <laughs> they didn't want nothing to do with us. Yeah. And uh, over here as well, there's a whole new set of blades there, Ray. Eh? They're huge. They're like, see the see the sand crab and then see the ends of the blades, like. I hope it doesn't mean the ones on there right now are dodgy and are about to fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's cool as. Uh, we better go anyway. I don't know if we're supposed to be in here or not. Alright, so that's where we just were up on the hill. And now we're back down here on this road. And uh, we stopped here because the old mate here is having a bit of trouble. Uh, I think he might still be alive, eh? He is a pretty decent brown snake. Yeah, well. Oh yeah, he's still alive. He knows I'm here. He's like... Probably should get off the road some more, mate. Go on. I'm, I'm guessing he got run over. He kind of looks a bit run over there. I've never seen a snake just laying like that before. But, oh, man. Yeah, he he is a good-sized brown snake. I reckon that one we saw at Napperby, though, had a bigger head, eh? Yeah. Wow. Poor fella. Hey, you gonna get off the road? I'd get off the road. Otherwise, then you got no hope if you stay there. Someone will come you and did move a bit, so. run you over. Yeah, I'll try and um, like throw stuff at it till it moves. I'm gonna try and get him off the road for his own safety without like risking my safety. Yeah, don't like risk your safety. safety. Oh, he's not going far. What? Move. Uh. Ah. Don't get any closer. Oh, I think he might be dead now, eh? I think I think we might have seen him move his last move actually. Because uh. uh he just doesn't seem to care. Hey? Oh man, how cool is it, eh? <laughs> well, Oh well, you're fucked. <laughs> so yeah, no good. He's got a big tire mark across his back there and uh, he's not moving anymore. So I'd say that's it for him. And we drove down the road a little bit and we're back at Snowtown. I didn't realise we were so close to Snowtown, but that pink lake might as well be in Snowtown. And because uh, it's a public holiday today, all the touristy stuff's open. So the bank's open. Let's go and see if we can get in a barrel in dun, the vault. Dun, dun. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's open. How mad is this? Can't wait. The sign out the front says it's like collectibles and bric a brac and, souvenir. and souvenirs. So we might even like be able to get like a, a bodies in the barrel sticker. How mad would that be? Oh wow, look, so here's the vault. That's where the barrels are. Or were. Mad. Yeah, wow, they got some really cool stuff in here, hey. Oh, and our no. favourite Auto Shop, Auto Pro. Oh, there's Auto <laughs> Pro car. Max Dumsneys. Dumsneys. And um, up the back here, look, there's Arnie. I'll be back. Oh, wow, look at that. I wonder where they got that from, like, a VHS store or something. And there's, like, the Thunderbirds dudes and stuff. And there's, oh, man, there's heaps of cool stuff in here, hey. Hello. Is there anybody's in there? <laughs> oh, that's that bloke we saw on the fence the other day. And this is all the stuff about the bodies in the barrels. Whoa, it's pretty cool though. Bodies in the barrels about the bank vault. And there's the bank vault right there. 
Oh, I couldn't find any of that when we were in the NTA. Oh, yeah, that was cool, as. So now we've been inside Snowtown Bank. You can't get in the vault. I didn't ask them. I should have. I bet that's where they keep the blue barrels, eh? So, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. We're going to cruise back to Yakka and go and uh, see our new animals because we've adopted pets. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, get to see them tomorrow maybe. And uh, get to see our house and uh, we'll tell you all about our plans from there. So, yeah, we'll talk to you then. Dun, 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 dun.